Boys, this is the only video you need to watch about the best free 95 overall Super Bowl player to pick in Madden 24. Now, Soul Soul Sit family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this one are having a wonderful start to your day. And without further ado, let's get it popping. Now, let's get right in. <clears throat> When you come in dry, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're in the, the, the recording, like, flow. Now, the way we do these rankings, if you guys did not already know, is we don't mention every single player. We are only going over the cards that, in my opinion, you should be considering. So if you're considering a player that's not on this list, uh, that's not someone I'd recommend. But let's get started with player number six. Now, really quickly, before we get into these rankings, if you don't know how to get the free 95 overall player, we talked about it on the channel yesterday. Not going to go super in depth into it, but you're basically going to be going on over to the Super Bowl field pass and getting up to level number 20, which honestly, if you watched my video yesterday, it feels like it's a long way to go, but it's not that difficult and it can be completely in I would say under an hour if you watched my video from yesterday so I'm not going to talk about that a ton we talked about it already but if you want to check that out it's linked in the description boys we're just going over to my channel page and check it out over there and let's get into the rankings now card number six is going to be none other than 95 overall Chase Young the man himself six foot five 95 speed for a pass rusher are you kidding me brother 95 speed ridiculous he's got 96 block shed 90 power move and 97 finesse move honestly this card really reminds me of that Nick Bosa that came out earlier this year very very overpowered in terms of the block shed the power move the finesse move we love to see that right there speed and excel is ridiculous i will say that's probably one of the more important stats for a pass rusher in this game even though there's not a lot of mobility at the quarterback position i love having guys that can fly around the field 6'5, 264 as well so basically your prototypical defensive end and you got a nice bit of long-term value right here if you pick up this card he's a player that's probably going to be on your team for a nice while now i will say if you guys didn't know some of these super bowl present players have specific objectives which if they complete in game they're going to get ability discounts a lot of them though are a little bit irrelevant because Chase Young, he's got to get 3.5 plus sacks in the Super Bowl. Let's be serious, brother. That is, that's not even happening in his dreams. Now, before we talk about the next player on this video, I need to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this one, Underdog Fantasy, the number one partner on the channel. If you don't know what Underdog Fantasy is, they are a place where you can make player picks on NFL games. Instead of making picks on how well you think the team's going to do, you're picking players. Now, if you're interested in checking out Underdog for the big game, which is just a matter of days away at this point, absolutely crazy. I'm going to leave Underdog linked down below in the description. If you sign up using my promo code, which is code, so if you get so many specials they're doing discounts every single day and you also get a Patrick Mahomes 0.5 total yard sign meaning if Mahomes gets a yard or more you win it's basically free cash I will leave underdog linked in the description click that link to download the app use code swift as you're signing up it's gonna ask you for a promo code right after you download put in my code which is code swift and that supports my channel a ton gets your first deposit matched up to 100 bucks gets you the special and allows you to make picks for the game let's get back to the video boys now player number five is a quarterback and I know boys a quarterback making this list kind of a weird call but I will say the quarterback isn't really applicable to everyone watching this before we talk about that though let's talk about the stats on this card 92 speed 96 throw power those are probably the two more important stats for a quarterback but I will say throw under pressure throw on the run are sometimes something I notice don't worry though he's got 97 throw under pressure and 96 throw on the run additionally this Doug Williams gets the best release in Madden 24 and you get hot route master set feet lead gunslinger within the ability cap so basically anything you can want on a quarterback the best abilities incredible stats an awesome release. This card is amazing. The only thing I don't love about him is the fact that you're picking him as a BND. So I think if you're newer to this game, maybe you got the game for Christmas and you haven't grounded a ton. Maybe you got the game very recently and you're picking up this pack for free. Getting a quarterback isn't the worst idea in the world because a quarterback is honestly the most important position on your field. And if you're newer to the game, maybe you're rocking with like a 90 overall player. Maybe you're rocking with like a 92 overall player. Using a BND on a 95 overall quarterback isn't the worst idea. Now I will say if you're already up to that 93 or already up to that 94, maybe quarterback isn't the move and I got more players for you. Now, moving on, basically the opposite end of the spectrum, going from someone that's going to impact the game on every single play to someone who's not going to impact the game on every single play. It's Warren Sapp. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. Now, let's quickly talk about the stats on this card, but I feel like some of the intangibles and just what I've heard about him is what makes this player so good as well. 98 blocks, had 95 power move, 94 finesse move, basically a golden ticket out there with 90 speed i've heard this card is an absolute dog he loves quarterbacks and he's not gonna let anyone stop him from getting there uh, incredible stats on the card again he's a defensive tackle so it depends kind of what your philosophy is if you already got a great team and you're looking for a player that's gonna have a ton of long-term value sap is probably your guy but if you're looking for someone who's gonna impact the game on a more play-to-play -play basis we've got a couple other options for you now moving on to the third spot this is honestly kind of my sleeper pick i feel like a lot of people might not have this guy on their list just because obviously he's not as much of a big name player 
later, but we got Jair Brown right here, the strong safety on the Niners. Now, this man is 5'11", and that's the only thing I don't like about the card. Everything else is basically perfect for a safety in this game. 96 speed, 97 excel, 96 man, 92 zone, 97 hit power. The versatility on this card is incredible. It can really do anything in your defense. If you need him to cover in man, sure, he can do that. If you want him to be a zone defender, yeah, he can do that. If you need him to run support, he can do that. Even if you want to use this guy as a blitzer, I think he's got really solid block shedding. Catching is nice as well. COD is a 93. Basically, any stat you look at on this card, you're going to be like, damn, he's very, very solid. So if you're looking for a player that's kind of got some versatility, he's got 91 block shed, this Jair Brown could be the card for you. Now, am I picking him? I don't think so. I think the top two options are really my favorite two by a significant margin, and we'll talk about who you should pick out of those two. Now, at the number two spot, this is a difficult, difficult decision, but we got Herb Adley, a guy who I don't even think I had heard of before he got a card in Madden this year, but Herb Adley, 95 overall, the Packers legend. I've heard incredible things about this card. If you play zone or you play man, this card can absolutely ball out in your scheme. He's a little bit better in zone because the abilities he gets are incredible for a great rate, but he's got 96 speed, 91 excel, 97 agility, man's a 95, zone's a 95, press is a 94, play rex a 91. I mean, almost every single stat you see on this card, you're going to be satisfied with 96 COD. Are you kidding me right now? Six foot one. This card's awesome. From what I've heard on Twitter, he's an absolute dog. He's definitely one of the better cards in Madden as a whole. So getting this card for free is awesome. And then also he's a corner. So if say, for example, you upgrade a corner, toss this guy in as your cornerback two, he's still going to ball. If you upgrade another time, toss him in a cornerback three, still going to play, still going to ball. Compare that to like a quarterback. If you get another QB, you don't use your QB two. If you get another right end, you might not use Chase Young unless you switch him to left end. But obviously I think there's more long-term value with this Herb Adley card. Me personally, I got them at the two spot, although I might consider him just based on who I've already got on my team. Now at the number one spot, we got Marquez Valdez Scantling. This is like a baby Calvin Johnson right here. In terms of the stats, he's, he's absolutely ridiculous. I shouldn't say baby because he's six foot four, 96 speed, ridiculous. The route running is nice as well, bro. 94 short, 94 medium, 93 deep. EA gave him great stats. Now the catching isn't amazing, but I feel like catching honestly doesn't matter a whole ton as long as you're not like in the 70s. He's probably not going to drop too many passes. And if you're running gift wrapped on your quarterback anyways, he's not going to drop the ball. So six foot four, this is basically like a Calvin Johnson running around the field. And you can get him for free, right? 96 COD. The card is absolutely cracked. Now I will say deciding between MVS and Herb Adley is a difficult decision. And it kind of comes down to team. It kind of comes down to who you got already. For me personally, although I think MVS is the better card and I actually have him as my number one option, I think I'm going to take Herb Adley just based on how my team is built already. I've already got some BNDs at wide receiver. Like I got the BND Jerry Rice. I got a BND Darius Hayward Bay. It was a little bit outdated now, but corner's a position where I'm feeling like I want to upgrade more. So honestly, picking between Herb Adley and MVS, you can't go wrong with either. I would really suggest one of those two. Obviously, Jair Brown's solid as well. Maybe if he's like the perfect card for your scheme, yeah, absolutely, you can get him. Or if you don't want one of the players I talked about, sure, you can move down the list to number three or number four. But for me personally, and I think for most people watching this video, it comes down to Herb or it comes down to MVS. Now that's going to do it for me. If you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, I'm going to leave it linked in the description. And until next time, boys, I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.